Good morning, dear Swissies and Switzerland lovers. Yeah, it is early. It's five o'clock in the morning. But uh, I have a little surprise for you. That's why I had to wake up early. Yeah, and you will see soon why. And do you know where I am? Yeah. Yeah, I am in the Rosenlau Valley. And today I show you the preparation of a Alpine procession. Procession? Yeah. From the beginning to the end. <laughs> they are already awake. So, jetzt gehen wir mal rein. Da wartet schon Hund und Mensch. Hallo miteinander. So they're doing the, the producing the last cheese from the Alps and normally they have a bigger one but for me it's already big enough but they have a bigger one. Um, the reason why they have a smaller one is that uh, the cows uh, do not produce a lot of milk at the end of the summer because the grass has not uh, a lot of energy anymore. Yeah, that's why they, um, they give less milk and then they could uh, produce less cheese, of course. That's the reason why. Good morning, good morning, cows. So, huh, it goes home. <laughs> yeah, they, they are still eating. Yeah, but they already know that something will happen today. Yeah, they will go down to the valleys. And uh, yeah, so they eat the rest. And then they get washed. Quashed, quashed and strigglet. Putz and strigglet. Hey ladies, you ready for today? Huh? They're busy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Let's check out the cheese speicher. Ooh, mm, that smell. I tell you. If you, that's, that's failed no YouTube, huh? if you could have the smells on the YouTube videos, that would be nice. Look at all, these are the flowers uh, to do, decorate the cows. Yeah, and this is all the cheese from this season. Verzähl dich kein Zeich, gell? Hi, this is Lena. <laughs> and this is Lena's dog. <laughs> from this season, look at all that cheese. Crazy, oder? Wow. Und was machst du jetzt? What are you doing now? Hi. Kannst du auch Schweizerdeutsch oder Englisch, wie auch immer? Ich pflege jetzt den Käse. Ja. Der braucht die Pflege jeden Tag, dass am Ende wundervoll schmeckt. Every, every one of these cheese must be, wie sagt man dem? Ähm, Eingeseift. <lacht> Soaped, so? kind of yeah. soaped, everything, every, every day. Yes. Like to me, do. Wow. You have to have muscles, do. Yes. <laughs> wow, crazy. And they have different colors. Why? Because of the age? or? Yeah. Ah, okay. I learned. So this must be the very early cheese or the very late yes, cheese? Yes, the very early, early cheese. cheese. And then? When you uh, follow? Yeah, this is the oldest here. This is the oldest ah. number one. Ah, this is number one. <laughs> you should take it at home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so good. Mmm, schmeckt so fine. Yeah. And how is the quality this year of the cheese? Good or? Very good. Very good. So how do you um, yes. judge yes. this? How do you judge this? Why is it so good? Genau, wie soll ich das sagen? Ja. Da kommen Käseprämierer. Ah. Die haben da, ich denke, die haben einen Kurs gemacht. Aha. Und die kommen jährlich und prämieren den Käse nach Lochung, Teig, Aroma, Äußeres. Genau, wow. die vier Punkte. Und 20 ist die volle Punktzahl. 
And you have 20. Yeah. Wow. So they have the best uh, points uh, for, yeah, ever, <laughs> quasi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, best cheese ever. So if you want to buy cheese, you have to buy this year. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, best cheese ever because they were experts, cheese experts, and uh, they judged the cheese about some certain parameters, Kayani. And um, yeah, he got fully punctual. Yeah, the best points. Cool, congrats. Huh? This is your job. Yeah, thanks. The result of your job. Super nice. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> lots of love, she says. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it is lots of love and lots of energy and passion. Yeah. Very cool. Super. It is still very, very early. And they start to uh, clean the cows uh, at seven. And then they have about two hours when they wash them and strickle them and, yeah, and decorate them with the flowers we saw. And uh, then at about nine, they go down. I try to be a little bit silent. There are rears, uh, the rears, deers roaring. Can you hear them? Yeah, maybe I will try to uh, film some of them, but it's very difficult, they are so shy. It is still very dark around me, but soon you will see the most beautiful landscape. Yes, and then you see, ah, we are here. Was machst du jetzt? Bruch testen, ob es passt. Der Bruch? Jawohl. Okay. And? Gut. <lacht> oh, now, now jetzt kommt, kommt der most important Teil. Schau mal. Now he takes the cheese out. The future cheese. Wow, da brauchst du Muskeln, du. Ah. Und Zähne. <lacht> ja. You need muscles and teeth, du. Schau mal. Mit einer Zahnspange geht es nicht Oh, that's really hard work, du. Hey, der Banane. Da musst du in deine Kraft tun, gell? Da kannst du einfach ein bisschen Käse drücken. Ja, ich kenne schon. Ich bin schon während der Eifel, meine ich schon zweimal in der Woche noch ins Studio. Ja, ja. Gavel, Momo, das muss schon sein. Gavel essen? Ja, das muss so richtig medisch noch. Und Gavel fahren. Ja, war ein Arsch. Und dann sind wir Gavel fahren. Wow. Ich habe mich gefreut, am Abend zu nehmen zu können. Aber Schlafproblem gibt es hier oben nicht. Ja, yeah. <laughs> so, after this hard work, every day they sleep like babies. Now you see where I am. Huh? Yeah? Did you know it? Yeah, sure. If you follow my videos, you know where I am. In the Rosenlaui Valley. And the cows over there get excited already. Now, Soon the cows come out. Yeah, for the wellness session. So now the first cow is out. Yeah, she's not amused. <laughs> they maybe don't know that uh, it's wellness time.
Hey, it's not so bad, Anna. Huh? The cow gets washed while the sun is rising on the mountains. Huh? Get the pilbasters. Remember the girl in the cheese rio <laughs> and the cheese house? Um, she told me that uh, an Alp time to work on an Alp is very exhausting. You never have one day off. Yeah, so it's a, a physically pressure and a mentally pressure. Yeah, but she loves it. <laughs> yeah, so I think this is the only way you can do something for a long time when you have a lot of passion and when you love it. Huh? Look more we should Oh. Car wash, whoa, 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 waiting for the car wash, yeah. <laughs> the bells which the cows wear when they go down to the valley and it's always a discussion if they are not too heavy for the cows. Now I switch to Swiss German because I have a Swiss German Profi da. <laughs> Kannst du mir erklären, was ist jetzt wirklich so das Ding mit den Glocken und den Kühen? So weißt du das Verhältnis ja. vielleicht? Also die Kühe, die da sind, sind zwischen 500 und 650 Kilo. Mhm. Und dort reichen sie von 5 bis die größten sind 10 Kilo. Ja. Und das ist prozentual 2-3 Prozent vom Körpergewicht, das sie tragen Okay, und das, das ist ja nur für, für die Ab... Genau, das ja. sind zweieinhalb Stunden, die sie dann haben. Mhm. Und das ist wirklich kein Problem für die Kühe. Okay. Ich bin schon froh, wenn sie es dann wieder abziehen können. <lacht> ja. Aber wenn wir Sport machen, dann haben wir dann auch nicht mehr. Und das ist bei denen eigentlich. Okay, so he told me that the, the, um, the bells are between 5 and 10 kilograms. And the cow has 600 until 700, 600 bis 700, gell? 700 kilograms. So it's about 3%, yeah, what they wear um, compared to their weight. And it's only for two and a half hours when they go down to the valleys, yeah? Also it's not schlimm. <laughs> it's okay for them. And they and you know they are used to it. It's only one in once in a year. And um, but he also said they are happy when the bells are off then again. <laughs> you maybe ask um, which cow um, gets which bell. And I thought that the bigger bells uh, go on the bigger cows, but it's not like that. Um, they watch the cows during summer. And it's like uh, us human, there are cows with uh, more fitness <laughs> and cows with less fitness and the cows with more fitness get uh, the bigger bells. Yeah, so it's just... And there are always people asking if the sound of the bells does not bother the cows. Um, yeah, maybe on this day, <laughs> I guess. They're a little bit bored, but uh, you know, um, since there were uh, calves, they have a small bell on their neck. And the reason is, especially on the Alps, um, that when they get lost somewhere, you know, the Alps are big and you cannot uh, put a fence everywhere. And so if a cow gets lost in the Alps, the farmers can uh, search them for uh, after the ringing, you know, if she's in, a, in the gorge or wherever. So they hear the bell. So um, it is kind of life saving in the in the Alps. Yeah.
And as you can see, they do not feel stressed. Huh? Total tief and entspannt. And this is the first cow. Yeah. The first which is going down. And then all in a row. Is Oberland the dogs drive the car? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, and when the cows are down in the valleys, there is silence again on this place. Only roaring deers. <laughs> Now the cows get their flowers. Yeah. It's easier when they have horns to put the flowers on the head. Yeah. But they have uh, different things to fix it. Yeah, you will see later. <laughs> 